Hi, in this session, I would like to show you on how to check uh, the depreciation forecast report. Yeah, so the depreciation forecast report to check the depreciation forecast report, you need to go to the accounting and the financial accounting at the same path. Yeah, so you just need to go to the accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets, information systems, reports for assets. And here is the depreciation forecast. So the depreciation forecast is the forecast you can do for the future years, like a simulation. So let's say if you have an asset which is it can be depreciated for five years. So all those five years, the system will show in the report. So let's say in the case of current year, so you can also see the current year depreciation. So let's say and how to execute the report. So I will take one sample asset to show you here. So now um, to check on the depreciation current here. So what is the difference between this report and this report when we do the forecast? So let me go here to double click on this report. So now I'm going to forecast, see the forecast for until 2025. So now if you click on execute, the system is showing in the different columns. So if you see here, the system is added a different columns here. So one is in the each bucket. So one bucket is for the accumulated. So which is actually the opening. And this is at the end of the year. 2021, 2022, and 2023, and four. So this is a where the system is showing you until a start of the year, because we have chosen here 2025, but the asset is already depreciating for five years because the asset started life here is um, if you see the, the it's already 2020 so it's only from yeah, when you consider from 2020 it's a five years is ending here so the system don't show that date here so here this is how the system is going to show you in the different columns so how the depreciation forecast so here you can see for this asset, let's say 1007. So if you look into this 1007 asset here, so this asset and how the depreciation. So here is the depreciation, which is forecast for all over the years. So when it comes to this year, there is no depreciation. So on 2024, because we have already reached the residual value of 50k which we already shown in our previous posting so this is the cost how the system is posted um, by the system automatically then this is a depreciation for every year how much the depreciation is system is calculating and and for the that specific year so when it comes to the end of the year here so it won't show any value so this is where um, the depreciation forecast the system is showing including the cost of the asset and also the depreciation for each year so this is a diminishing value so the system shows 44 2 and 1 and then 50 subsequently so now let's let me keep this report and also run the current year so to do the current year forecast financial accounting fixed assets information systems reporting depreciation forecast and the current year so when i double click on here so let's assume that i'm changing this also 25 and click on execute so now let us see the asset 
which is same we are analyzing for that. So if you see that asset, you can see. Or when you run on this date, in this case, the, the report actually showed here is, this is the reporting date, sorry. This is a, a reporting date. So by the system, it is showing the reporting date here. Um, the, again, sorry. Yeah. So this is the reporting date, which is uh, 2025. But when you see, this is the cost. But when it comes to the accumulated depreciation, which is going to show here, which is the depreciation showing in one column, because you are running for a 2025, so it is showing for that year what is the total accumulated depreciation. So it doesn't show in the each column like our previous report, which is here showing which is when you add up these three you will get the same amount what you are seeing in the other report so this is four plus two plus one which is seven and fifty so seven fifty is actually showing here so the difference between this report and the other report is it will show a simulation so the simulation really help which year how much is the depreciation so this really helps for for the reporting point of view so you can also see at the gl level this is a balance sheet item which is a um, uh, what you call the balance sheet account and also this is a asset class account determination for this so hope you understand how this report relating to the depreciation forecast showing by the system. Yeah, hope this helps. Thank you.